busy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. Hi, friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing fantastic today and are having an amazing start to the new year. I can't believe it's already almost the second week of January. I had a great first week of 2023. It went by very, very quick, but let me know in a comment below how your first week of the year was. I hope you're inspired at this time like I am at the beginning of the year and you've set some new goals and everything. It is Saturday, January 7th, and um, it's been about a week since I've vlogged. And I really enjoy vlogging, so I hope you guys enjoy my vlogs, and I plan on doing a lot more of them this year. Um, but I, it is the weekend, like I said, it's Saturday, and my sister and I have a fun day planned, so I figured it would be fun to film a vlog for you guys. So, like I said, it's Saturday, and it's about 1pm. We just had lunch, we had a nice slow morning here. I like to take it easy and have a nice slow morning on the weekends because during the week I'm go, go, go. You know, I'm a morning person. I like to just get up, do my morning routine, get going and start work. So on the weekends, I like to slow it down, have a nice slow morning. So I had a nice slow morning today and I just got ready for the day. We're about to head out. So um, my sister and I are going to be doing some driving so we're gonna go to another town in our state of connecticut that's close to us um we're doing some apartment hunting and um i'll talk about this more later on but um in my 2023 goal setting slash 2022 reflection video i'll link that above if you didn't see it if it's already up um if not it's coming soon i mentioned that one of my big goals for the year is to move into, my sister and I, we want to move into our own apartment. So there's one that we really like that's about 25 minutes away from my parents' house. So we can't tour anything um, at this time because there's no places available yet. But we figured it would be fun today to just go drive by it and see what it looks like on the outside and just kind of drive through the town and explore it and see if it's a place that we would want to live because I'm definitely ready to be on my own and explore and live in a new um, city since I d do live with my parents still. So I'm definitely ready to embark on the next chapter of my life, moving out with my sister, having our own place. So we're going to drive by an apartment that we're really interested in. I may or may not show it. We'll see. But like I said, we can't tour anything yet. There's nothing available to tour. So we're just going to drive by it and check out like the atmosphere and the neighborhood and make sure we like it. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to see if we could find any little free libraries along the way. We have a ton of books in my trunk of my car to drop off. Um, and if you missed my first little free library video, I'll link it up here. It was super fun. I've seen other YouTubers do them and the video did pretty well. Got a good number of views. So if you watched that video, thank you. It was fun. I took you to five little free libraries in my town. And if you're new here, my name is Stacy, and I'm a huge reader, so is my twin sister. Um, so we're constantly reading and getting rid of books and getting new books. So we like to go to Little Free Libraries about once a week and drop off books if we can. So we're going to try to go to some new ones today in the town where the apartment that we want to look at is. So we're going to go do that as well, and then we're going to try to head to the bookstore. We've been wanting to go to Barnes & Noble for quite some time. And we just haven't made the trip out since it's in the weekend and we don't have anything going on. We figure it's the perfect day to go to the bookstore and just hang out. Um, we have some Christmas money. I don't know if I'll buy any books, but my sister has a cozy mystery she's looking for. And according to the website, the store has it. So we're going to go hang out at the bookstore, go book browsing, book shopping, maybe get a coffee in the cafe at Barnes & Noble. So I know you guys love bookstore vlogs, and I do too. I love watching them. So I figured I would take you along on this fun Saturday. It's about like 42 degrees, so it's cold, but it's not the worst. It's been really gloomy and rainy all week. So today is the first day that the sun's out, so we're going to take advantage of it. 
So yeah, I'm going to take you along with me today. I hope you enjoy the vlog. And really quickly, just to show you my outfit, I'm wearing a long sleeve crop top that's like a mock neck that's black and ribbed from, I think I got this at the store Burlington, or it used to be called Burlington Coat Factory for like $5. So it's thin, but I like it. It's just great for layering. I love these like layered crop tops. So I'm wearing that with my Target Stars Above black joggers that I talk about in every video. These are my ride or die pants. I wear them both lounging and working from home. And I also wear them out of the house because they look very like professional, even though they're just joggers. So I love them. I have just white socks on, I think from Walmart. And my baseball cap is, where did I buy this? I believe it's from H&M as well as my little black crossbody bag is also from H&M and I'm in love with this new puffer coat. It's like a tan beige color. I've been seeing other YouTubers with puffer coats in this color and I wanted one for myself because I love how neutral it is and I don't have anything like it. So I got this one around Christmas time during the sales. I ordered it from H&M's website. I'll link it down below if it's still available. This one is a size large and it's still pretty roomy. I actually ordered an extra large as well to see which one fit me better and the extra large was way too big. So the large fits perfectly. It's perfectly oversized. I like my coats to be oversized so I can wear like chunky sweaters underneath in the winter. Um, so I still have plenty of room as you could see. But this is just like the perfect amount of oversize. The extra large was too big. So I'm obsessed with this new puffer from H&M. And this is my outfit. And I'm just going to throw on... I have some like dupe Uggs. Um, they're like the Kulabura, um boots, which is a brand by Uggs that's just like more affordable. So I'm going to throw on some boots. It's just going to be a cozy, like I said, cozy, comfy day in the car a lot. And then just going book shopping. So I just wanted to be comfortable, but also look chic. So that is my outfit of the day. I'm really happy with it. Now I'm going to head downstairs, get ready to go. And I'm going to take you along. So I hope you enjoy this day in my life. Weekend vlog. Let's go. We made it to Barnes & Noble. Let's go inside and check it out. Yeah, I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you I've got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love And it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So oh, I don't need too much Just your simple love And it's Strolling hand in hand Exchanging letters when you're away Don't need any effort when we are together We always have fun throughout the day I do anything to get your attention When you say you love me I seem to ascend to the heavens above Where we fall in love I don't know what I would do without you Because all I need All I need Is you Make me fly To the clouds One, two, three All that I need Is your body next to me On rainy days Just need your company Don't need too much 
so simple Love in its everything The simple joy of hearing your voice Every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't it so much Just so simple Love in its everything Can't imagine Your company don't need too much Just your simple love and it's Everybody. it's a few hours later we just got home we went to barnes and noble and other places and then we picked up burger king for dinner as you just saw we just finished eating and then we decided to get into our cozy pajamas um and just spend the rest of the saturday night in the house which is my favorite thing to do as an introvert i love having nights at home so we're gonna get cozy and do some reading together while the house is quiet so i'm going to show you really quick the books that we picked up from barnes and noble so i didn't actually buy any books these are the ones my sister picked up so she got a few manga books so she got this book she got this is the sequel to the cozy mystery series that she just started so she wanted to get the sequel, so that's this book. And I want to read this series as well. We've both been loving Cozy Mysteries. 
Then she got this one. I'm not too knowledgeable about manga series, but you might recognize these. Let me know if you want to read any of them. And then this is the last one that she got. So we have my adorable reusable bag that we used when we shopped at the store. I hope you enjoyed the Barnes & Noble shopping um, clips. It was very, very busy today in store, like I expected it to be on a Saturday. So I tried to film as much as I could, so I hope you enjoyed it. And here is her haul. So now we're just going to spend the rest of the night in, and I will probably check in with you again later. Thanks for watching so far. everybody, Stacy here. I hope you're enjoying this fun book filled video so far. I hope you enjoyed seeing my clips from when my sister and I went to Barnes & Noble this past weekend and um, we decided to have a fun day today. It's a couple days later. We wanted to get out of the house because I work from home and um, I like to get out of the house once a week. Um, you know, just to clear my head, get out of the house, get away from work and everything, um, since I'm home most of the time. So today, we've been wanting to go to this place for a while. So my mom was home too. So my mom, my sister, and I, we went to um, a really cool place in my state. I live in Connecticut, and we have this really cool place that we discovered that we went to, and we've been wanting to go for a while. Um... I think it's called the Traveler's Restaurant. It's in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. I'll put the name of it on the screen here. And it is amazing. It's basically a restaurant, so you can go there for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, it's a great spot because it's on the border of Northeastern Connecticut and Massachusetts. So I guess they call it Traveler's because it's like a great stopping point for someone that's either going to Massachusetts or to Connecticut. So, and the best part about it is it's a restaurant, but it's also actually a bookstore, which is amazing. I love the idea behind it. So basically how it works is if you eat there, like if you dine in, like we did today, we got lunch there and it was delicious. I got a burger. If you eat there, they have like used books that are donated from people all over the restaurant, like I showed you. And for every person that eats there, you get to take home three books with you for free. Um, so I think that's really cute. So you get to like look around. They have free books on the top floor where you dine in and eat. So you literally get to take home three books for free if you want to. So we found some great picks. And then in the basement, there's like a bottom floor of their restaurant. They have a used bookstore. So it's so cool. I love how it's a two-in-one restaurant and bookstore. My sister and I love reading. I'm a huge reader if you're new here. Um, so we were just so excited to go there. It was absolutely amazing. The ambiance, the environment was beautiful, very relaxing. The food was delicious. The service was great. And we found some really good books there, so I highly recommend going to the Traveler's Restaurant if you're in Connecticut. And I'm going to show you really quick um, a haul of the books that we found there, so I hope you enjoy. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers, I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your 
book haul me and my sister and my mom these are the books that we got today so i'm just going to show you them really quickly and again they're all used because it was a used bookstore so some of these we paid for from the bookstore downstairs and some of them we got for free with our meal so i thought that was just really fun if i had a restaurant i would totally do that so the first one my sister picked out is a little princess and i think she already has this book but she has a different um, version. I think she has like a mass market paperback. So she said she wanted to get this one so she can get rid of her other copy. But it's just so cute. I absolutely loved used books. Used books are just my favorite. I love used books. Then I found some cozy mysteries. So I found this one, Thread and Buried, I've never read before. And then this one, Hooking for Trouble. The next book my sister got is this one. It's Princess of the Midnight Ball. And I know she wanted to read this one a while ago. And I remember seeing it before in the Booktube community. I love the cover. It's like in very good condition. So this was a really good find for her. And then I found another cozy mystery. And this series is actually a Hallmark Movies and Mysteries series. Um, their channel, the Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, um, you might be familiar with them. I absolutely love the movies on Hallmark that they made from this book series. And I was so happy to find this is the first book in the series called Real Murders. And I was so happy to find this because I've been wanting to read this series, um, but I haven't gotten around to it. So now I have the first book that I can read while I continue to watch the movies on Hallmark Channel. So I'm really excited to have found this. I love buying cozy mysteries used because they're a lot cheaper and I usually only read them one time and then I'm done with them so I don't like to spend a lot of money or pay full price on these. So I'm really glad to have found some cozy mysteries here. And then this next one my sister got, it's an older YA book. It looks like it was a library book which is really cool. So now she's excited about this one and all the books were like 3 or $4 used which I think is a great deal. And then my sister found this one. It's like a historical romance book. So she was excited about that one. And then she also found this one. I guess she said it's the sixth book in the Anne of Green Gables series. So the cover is just really cute. And it looks like it was also a library book as well. And then she found a few manga books. So she had to pick these up. I'm not too familiar with them. But my sister loves them and I definitely want to get into them. So these are a couple. She bought the first two books in this series. But yeah, these are pretty expensive. So $6 is actually a really good deal for these. And then she also got another one. This is Fairy Tale. So you might be familiar with these. So that is our quick little book haul from, these are all the books we got from the Traveler's Restaurant and the bookshop. So it was a really fun place to go. Um, we spent like probably $50 on all these books and it's totally worth it. I love buying used books and going to used bookstores because you can find a lot of hidden gems. So I highly recommend checking out the restaurant. It was our first time going and I'm definitely gonna go again, go back there. Definitely recommend it if you're in Connecticut, but I hope you enjoyed this bookish video and this book haul. Thanks for watching. Hey, hey, hey.